Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.1, .1, Polygons. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to identify and classify polygons. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, lesson 11.1 .1 is our first jump into geometry. In geometry, we're going to be looking at lots of different shapes. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, the Castle del Monte in Italy was built more than 750 years ago. The fortress has one central building with eight surrounding towers. Which polygon do you see repeated in the structure? How many sides, angles, and vertices does the polygon have? A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at points called vertices. The vertice is the corner. It is named by the number of sides and angles that it has. To identify repeated polygons in the fortress, let's complete the table below. The first shape that we have here has three sides. One, two, and three. It has three angles. One, two, three and three, and the place where it meets in the corner, one, two, and three. We call this a triangle. Our next shape is a quadrilateral. Remember that quad, like a four wheel quad, has four sides. So it has four sides, one, two, three, four angles, and if we count the corners, one, two, three, four corners. The next shape we have is a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides, one, two, three, four, five. It has five angles, one, two, three, four, and five, and it has five corners. The next shape we have is a hexagon, and hex means six. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, six angles, and six vertices. Before we go on to the next set of information, let's take a look at this picture. Do we see any triangles? Well, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number that I'm seeing repeated is eight. And we don't have an eight-sided shape on this one. So let's keep going to our next set of polygons. Okay, our next shape is called a heptagon. A heptagon, let's count, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides, seven angles, and seven vertices. The next shape we know looks kind of like a stop sign. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices. Our next new vocabulary word is a nonagon. A nonagon has nine sides, nine angles, and nine vertices. And our last shape is the decagon. The decagon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides. It has 10 sides, 10 angles, and 10 vertices. Now thinking back to that picture of the castle, we saw that the shape inside the middle, and then it was repeated on the outside, had eight sides, angles, and vertices. The shape that has eight sides, angles, and vertices is the octagon. So the octagon is the repeated polygon in the Castle del Monte because it has eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's keep going. All right, on the top of the next page, it has some vocabulary. In the vocabulary, we're reading about a regular polygon. A regular polygon means that all the, the lines, the sides, have the same length. All the angles have the same measure, which means that they are all congruent. Congruent means equal. 
regular polygon sides are congruent and angles are congruent. And there's an example of this. This shape has one, two, three, four, five sides. So we know that it is a pentagon. And if you look, all of the sides are all four centimeters and all the inside angles all equal 108. So this is what we would call a regular polygon. Whereas if you look at the shape on the right, it has one, two, three, four, five sides as well, but it is not a regular polygon because not all the sides are the same and not all the angles are the same. All right, next we have the try this section. It says label the Venn diagram to classify the polygons in each group. Then draw a polygon that belongs in only each group. All right, so we're looking for congruent things. So if we look at this circle here, we want to notice what is congruent about all the things in this circle. Well, when I look at this circle, I notice that every corner, every vertice, has the same markings. And that must mean that they are all congruent. So in this circle, we have congruent angles. <clears throat> all right, now let's look at this circle. Well, this time I'm seeing that all the sides have these markings that show me they are the same. So all of the ones in this circle are congruent sides, which means that the ones in the middle have congruent sides and congruent angles, which means that they are regular polygons. All right, now that we know that, let's go ahead and add some pictures into here. So I know that a square has regular angles. So I'm gonna draw a square. <clears throat> and then on the sides, I'm gonna draw, and it's hard to tell on the iPad, but I'm doing the best I can to draw a shape that has the exact same side length on every side. So those that have congruent sides. And then in the middle, I'm gonna draw a congruent pentagon where all the same sides and angles are the same. Great job, fifth graders. Time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is the test prep question. The test prep question is on the very last page of your lesson pages. It says, which of the following shapes is a regular hexagon? So remember that hex means six. So we wanna look for a six sided shape. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, it can't be D. And if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it can't be B. So what is the difference between A and C? We wanna look for this word regular. Remember that regular means that all sides are the same and all angles are the same. Look at the markings on the sides and the angles and decide which one is a regular hexagon. Be prepared to answer tomorrow in class. Great job, fifth graders.